Okay. So I like to see where you were at and you are in detailing the design and you are in text submit questions. Submit text questions. There we go. So you're actually right here. Um, believe it or not, I this actually goes with that. Okay, so how, I'll tell you how you got here. So when you clicked on here, you clicked the first thing, which was the summary. And the summary takes you to um, this. So you either, you read about it, uh, sometimes you could press play and they read to you. Uh, if you can actually change the language if you have to, if English is not your first language. So that really helps out. That's kind of a, a sweet deal up there. But anyway, uh, so you read all this. And then each time you always click next activity. So you move to the next spot. Okay. Um, make sure that you're not just only reading, but you're also taking notes. Okay. Summaries are nice and conclusions are nice because they actually tell you basically all, all over of what we're going to learn or what we have learned. So those are actually kind of nice reminders. And um, so it's going to tell you what you'll be learning in this unit. This is also helpful too because if they're telling you this is what you're going to learn, I would write that down and then leave some space so this way when you read things in the unit, about number one, two, three, and four, you can write about it. So it says you're going to learn identifying the elements of design. Okay, I wrote that on my paper and I left some space. Then I wrote down distinguish between different principles of design. All right, I wrote down on that paper. I'm going to leave some space. I'm leaving space because I'm going to be adding more notes. So basically, you're going to be taking notes. Um, and then you do the same thing with three and four. So that when you click to the next activity, you have detailing in the design and you start to read. And um, you read what it's about. So what are they talking about? All right. It looks like they're talking about color. And oh, hey, look, use elements of design, principles of design. Oh, they kind of talked about that earlier on. So my ears need to perk up and I'm going to be listening a little bit. So then we have the elements of design. It's in bold. And what is in bold? Color. And then what is in bold? Value. So that tells me I need to write down these things in bold. That was my question one, right? Then I need to know information about it. It's not just enough to know color. I need to know about color. So whenever there are words in bold, write it down and write what it's about. And then read the whole thing and paraphrase in a couple of sentences. What is the whole thing about? And that is when you'll have some notes. So you'll do that throughout every single activity because you'll click the activity button each time. Now, I am not going to do that. I'm actually going to go back here and I'm going to move to where this particular student is at. So you are right here in submit text questions. Don't pay attention to these check marks because I've been skipping around and just kind of seeing what y'all are in. Okay, so I'm in, I gotta make sure, detailing the design and then submit the text questions right here. And then you're going to click on that. And then it comes up with these files. So I'm slightly confused. I'm like, what happened? What, what am I supposed to upload? I don't, what, what? So you can go back and I go, well, let me look to the one above it. Oh, okay. All right, these are my questions. Okay. You can even look at the questions and then go back to your notes too. Always use your notes. That's why they're there. They're like legal cheat sheets. That's what they are. They're totally legal. Uh, okay, so these are where your questions are at. That's what they were talking about in this document. Okay. Now, let's say that you're already here and you 
you know, the next day and you took a break and you forgot what you're supposed to do, it says instructions, type instructions, and then you will see those questions pop up again. So it tells the same thing to you in two different places so you don't, like, forget, which is, like, fantastic. Um, and then now we're going to eat, need to upload. Uploading is a whole other thing. Let's just do this one part for right now and get the questions answered. If you want to answer questions on a piece of paper first, you can do that. Um, or you can type it straight into your document. If you took notes, it would probably be, you could probably skip the writing, the pre-write first. Just look at your notes, look at the questions, and then type your answers into a Word document. And um, if you're on a PC, if you're on a Mac, you can also do Word document. If you're on your iPad, you can download Microsoft Word, or you can actually do it into your Google Drive. My advice to you is to also save it other places. Do not just type your answers in Edgenuity. Do not do that. You never should do that. Always type it in one area and you have it in a safe place. Whether it's in Google Docs, whether it's in a cloud, or if it's saved, um, like if you're like me in your old fashion. Uh, it's saved in a file on the desktop of my computer, okay?